and like maybe going for and like he has the down throw mix-ups as well yeah he he'll play a lot to land grabs which will confirm out of some of the aerials at low percent and then start racking up stuff you know he loves stomp at ledge he'll just mash it at ledge and then land it on people adata was he he didn't make hm did he i don't remember he did make HM. HM? Yeah, he made HM on the Ontario PR that was just recently revealed a few days ago. And it, it makes sense. I mean, he's been on the grind and is always looking good. Link, a character that you do see in Durham quite often because of dudes to name. I don't know what Chad's record is, but I do remember the tournament where dudes got second. He did beat Chad. So maybe this might be a matchup where Chad struggles or maybe K. Roll struggles. It's hard to say because people look at K. Roll and they assume, oh, it's K. Rule. He's gonna. He's too big. He's gonna get beat up, and he sucks. And then players like Chad exist. It's like, well, are you sure about that? Yeah. After even like after like the buff he got like a while ago, like it's he's definitely like a solid like in my opinion mid tier. But in this game, a lot of characters can be successful. Exactly. And there's Kirby. <laughs> Okay, going to game one. Smash. Oh boy, my favorite. PS2 brain rod. Ooh. So I believe um, Blunderbuss just like clanks with whatever it needs first, but side B, the crown, that's a bit different. I think that just goes through everything. But I don't think it, it like breaks the other stuff. Might yeah. like nudge the ball. I think a part of it might like, you know, be the armor as well. Like, K Rule's not going to get hit by much stuff. Yeah, I feel the like. Crown. We're, getting, we're definitely going to see a lot of crowd in this game, because, like, Absolutely. Chad just doesn't have that many ways to deal with, like, Link just project these projectiles. Yeah, like, you can see Chad is playing that war projectile, staying at the mid-range and using the crown. Especially because Link's up-close options are good. Nair will beat anything, it feels like. Yeah. If you don't angle your shield up, I think you're, like, your shield will get poked by, like, two short hot bears in a row for full. That's not doing it. Bomb, but this bomb nice nope. going low. Nice Good stuff. Get up attack there. It's yeah. always scary when that bomb is bouncing. It does have a hitbox. Yep. But also, like, there's so much pressure going on, especially when you're a big character. They wow. just armor. Them. I love kidding? that he used the crown <laughs> armor. Oh. Uh oh. No, don't throw oh. that. Ah. Now, see the thing with bomb is that it's very, very, very low knockback. And it's not really going to combo very reliably. It, honestly, the way that I see it is that it's like a C4 that you can move. And when you grab it, you just want to get rid of it. Just I, I remove access to it. I completely agree. I, I'm honestly of the belief that unless your character has like amazing frame data to like combo that bomb or something like that, oh I, you just throw it off the stage. Like you want to like, you want to make the opponent have to pick it out again. And those two up airs racked up so much damage for a data. Ooh, you want something there. Now, crownless king. Yep. He <laughs> snares. Oh, oh my god. See, the general basis for Link is you want to see how he likes to use bomb, how he likes to use boomerang, and how he likes to use neutral air. But neutral air is just that good of a move, and it's so Ooh. suffocating. And look at all this damage that's racked up against Chad. Grabs the bomb, tries to throw it at him once again. See, that's the thing. Like, Link has some, like, really crazy combos. Like, everyone sees, like, the... Uh, no, no. A lot of people see like the bomb or the the bomb into like down air or stuff like that. But like Adana like showing some really good skill, like just doing normal strings that do a crap ton of percent, and they like it's really impressive. Like I don't see a lot of links going for the, those classic comp or those like normal like combos, like that double back air into like uh, like nair and stuff like that. Even so, he was trying to do the the nair Z drop crazy business that you see dudes in name go for all the time when his opponent's yeah. a low percent. But he still got like some good combos out of it anyway that you know weren't as extensive as that. And he just completely suffocated Chad there. Like he was really struggling. Do I think Chad will switch? Definitely not. He never does. I mean he ha you know, he does have other characters he can play. I've just... never seen him pull out in bracket though over his game. Did he? Or even the OG from Smash 4, Luigi. That is true. But I don't know if he played Luigi now. Ah, the classic Kalos. Here we go. Game two on Kalos. I mean, you know, the walls might... Uh, actually, I don't know how much of a difference it'll really make in terms of, you know, offstage business. Think but these, yeah, I don't think either of these characters can wall jump. It might help Link, actually, because he can just uh, tech off the side when he falls and covers. Oof. 
really bad start for yeah, chat. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he sent that way. I believe it depends on the side that you are of the bomb. Like, whatever side you're on is where it's going to send you. And he right. armors the explosion again. Okay. And here we go, Chad. All right, all right. There we go. Just the Barry F smash. He's back in it. Take a stock, Chad. Please, very come nice, on. You got nice. this. <laughs> get one. I want to see him get one. He got none the last game. Oh, I wouldn't stand under that bomb. <laughs> Once again, throwing oh. the bomb at Link and that up the out of shield so fast, so strong. You have to always respect that when you're in like the percent of that kills. Not sure how much Chad really wanted that up smash. And you can see all these projectiles Ooh. coming into play. Big boy dash attack. Stomp. Wow, oh. he armors one of the hits with his. <laughs> no! no, Chad. Oh, oh unfortunate. No! <laughs> Data might run away with this one. <laughs> All right, Chad doesn't need too much to take this stock either. I mean, at 150%, we are on Kalos, and Late. that dash attack does it. I, I I think that was an air dodge because it looked like he like popped to the side a bit. The uh, feet on the right. Okay. Chad, slowing the pace down a little bit. He does need to kind of work a bit harder to get in. I mean, he does have that crown, which does help. Blunderbuss just gets intercepted by a lot of the projectiles there. I don't think he meant to pick up that bomb. Yeah, the bomb. Chad, stop trying to combo with it. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right. Now, that being said, there are combos you can do. I'm sure of it. It's just a lot harder to do and very niche. It's just yep. a very unusual item in terms of like it's used for combos and such. Yeah. Oh, barely getting hit by the bomb. Ah, oh, you hate you to see it like that. The, the finish screen they do with the Yep. Oh, that was a little bit rough to watch, but I mean, Adada was just all over him. Projectiles everywhere, there was just no breathing room for Chad at all. Yeah, no, honestly, like, and Chad just couldn't